it's Alex Schur. I'm here for the Shelburne Freelancer and I'm here today with a gentleman named Glenn Webster and he has a fascinating story to tell you about this beauty who was returned to him after 36 years this car found its way back home. Um, can you tell us the story of this car please? I sure can. Um, I first bought the car in 1973 and I owned it till 79 and in that period I redone it all okay and uh, unfortunately um, <laughs> when I was young and just newly married uh, my wife and I decided to possibly sell the car and in 1979 I did sell it I sold it to a gentleman that I knew a little bit um, he was a parts man in Brampton his name was Ron Green so I sold it to him in 1979 Unfortunately, I've never seen the car again, and it's my fault. I've been wanting to go see the fella, see if he still owned the car, and uh, lo and behold, that never happened. So a good friend of mine, uh, Mark Bookman, him and I were at a swap meet over in Paris, Ontario, and that was in, uh, well, I guess the winter of 2015, and my friend nudged me and says, there's a picture of your old car. And of course I said, it uh, can't be my old car. And he said, well, you go have a look. So sure enough, I talked to the gentleman. I said, is that your car? He said, well, it's not my car. But he said, it's a friend of mine who passed away and his wife's thinking of selling it. So anyway, I did get her phone number. I called her and she could not believe that it was me. Um, unfortunately, her husband, when he was near his last few days said to her if you have to sell the 55 the right gentleman will come along and you won't believe who it is he's going to tell you you know he wants to buy this car and sure enough that was me and I did own it years ago and Ron had it for 36 years and with a little bit of persuasion um, I did talk her into selling it so I did buy it back after 36 years and I'm going to look after it and hopefully have it in my family for another 36 years or so. And my one son is quite interested in cars. My other son likes cars but not quite as much. So uh, who knows, one day one of them might own it and enjoy it. It's a very emotional story. It is. Um, this is a, what is this car? What year? A 1955 Chev 210. Um, it has got another motor in it. It's now got a 350 in it. When I owned it, I had a 302 Z28 motor, and I guess Ron enjoyed it so much that um, he did blow it up and have to put another motor in it. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it's pretty much the same car as what I had when I owned it. Now, there's an interesting fact about the uh, interior. I guess Ron loved it so much, he did something, didn't he? I put the interior in originally. Um, the front bucket seats are out of a 69 Cougar. The back seat is out of a 64 Chev Impala and he actually enjoyed it and liked it and had it reupholstered and added the yellow stripe. Other than that, the four speed still in it I put in, the tachometer still in that I put in, Stuart Warner gauges are still in it, um, even the foot gas pedal is still in it that I put on it back in the 70s. He really cherished this car, didn't he? He loved it. It was his whole life, his wife said. So, How lucky are you? You could have sold it to somebody who just let it go to exactly, waste. Exactly. I just, wow. I'm so glad to find it in this condition. And, uh, I mean, I did go over it. I had a few things to do to it. But uh, after a few days working on it, we got it back on the road. And I think we're good to go. That's an amazing story. Thank you so much for sharing. You're quite welcome.